Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad to stand here to do a presentation for us for about the nature and metropolitan. I think my presentation is a bit different from uh, former two guys because my um, my major is urban planning, and we will talk about practical urban development policy around the world. So, why we should build a sustainable urban development form? Uh, I think. We should talk about first why we built a compact city uh, in our nowadays. First, it's for good for the environmental effect. It will uh, benefit the climate change error, and also it will ba balance the environment quality of the urban environment, and also create equity for the social groups. And then, at last, it can restore the urban um, nature and history. I think we have principles in our metropolitan when we build our uh, sustainable urban development. First, we need to understand, we need to think globally, and when we re require to um, solve the problems, we need to act uh, regionally. And, sec and then we need to have a cooperation with different disciplines. And then practical and uh, social issues go together. Um, just uh, not, uh, social is not important. We need to do practice for, um, for per, uh, exper experiment. The out that, this is the outline of my presentation. I have six topics. The first is the sustainable urban development. What is sustainable urban development? We're now all familiar with the definition of sustainable development, but what is for the urbans? I think there are three dimensions as I planted in this land. The first is the social development, second is economical development, and then is environmental protection. The three dim dimensions are very important. We should not emphasize on single of them. We should consider three of them together. We should know that when we three dimensions join together, it's a sustainable pattern of urban development. And then the sustainable development should be uh, seen at a global scale. I think there are five sustainable goals in our urban development. But now we should talk about the most important one, the climate change error. Um, there are some guys who developed the theory of urban development that is focused on how urban development can meet the need, need of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. And the in the moment of sustainable urban development, we have five methods. The first is we can use renewable uh, uh, Resource instead of non-renewable, and uh, we should know the natural capital is very vital for our cities, and uh, we can benefit from the natural interest. The third is we should imply appropriate technology in our research and practical, such as uh, the biological fossil fuels, and. Uh, we should know import, import replacement and produce locally to, to not over exploit all the local resource. And at last, we should know we need to conserve, restore, and recycling the local resource. First, we use the renewable energy resource, such like solar and wind resource. And we can use some substitute uh, like biodiesel for the fossil, uh, fossil fuels. And then it's very important that we can reduce the vehicle miles when we drive in the city. It's have different methods to achieve this goal, goals. And we can talk about in the next uh, outlines. And uh, for example, compact development and uh, TOD transportation system. And this is our practice in TOD transportation system. We usually, that is transportation oriented development. In the middle, we would build the public transportation center and around it will be mixed land use so that, so that the people from the central city can 
transport to the satellite city very convenient and uh, they will reduce the demand for traffic. And uh, this is a neighborhood built for in Edinburgh. It for it called for the green car for example. In this neighborhood, people can walk in the neighborhood to each other in the every building. They need them to drive car. They can bicycle around here, so it's car free. Quite energy saving. And other in our transportation protocol, we can use our high competitive bus system. You can, you can see from the picture that in the middle, it builds the bus station. And uh, on the two sides, the bus is, uh, the road is specifically for bus, not for private car. And on the side, on the other side is for private car. It will faster the public transportation and promote people to use more public transportation. And uh, the below picture, the other picture is show that we can build specific road for the bicycling system. That will, this practice has been vastly used in New Zealand and sometimes we use in our metropolitan neighborhood to promote bicycling. And then we have our recycling uh, policy. <coughs> this is a picture from Europe that uh, what can we save, uh, what can we recycle from our uh, disposal, such as papers, glasses. And second, I will talk about is the sustainable urban form. It's quite, it's quite important because it's related to the last si slide that uh, we can reduce the mileage of Wanko transportation in a city. I think we need to start from the industrial civilization. From that, from that period, we, our energy consumption in the cities was vastly enhanced, was vastly enlarged. And uh, it caused a lot of environmental, policy, uh, environmental problems in the cities, such as pollution and water pollution, high density overcrowding. From this land, we, we would say that we need to resolve the environmental, the climate change problem uh, error for the urban development. Also, we should know we need to solve the other problem together to think about the, our policy. It's a garden city mode. It's built by the Bender, uh, Abdander Huat, who want to combine the town and the countryside advantage together to solve the problem. And he designed a city mode that in the middle is a central city, and around it have six satellite city. They are connected with the uh, uh, train system and the highway system is a ring road connects the satellites with each other. And uh, it will promote efficiency of the transportation and also create the, a lot of green land, like the green belt around the city. And uh, now we learn a lot from this mode. Even today, we, when we build our satellite cities, such as the Lingang satellite city around Shanghai, or it's a satellite city around Dubai, we usually use this mode. And another mode is Rhythm City. It's, uh, it builds high density blocks to solve the problem of environmental quality in the city. And uh, the high density allowed uh, a lot of green parks can be built in the city to save the, uh, to save the land area. And nowadays, we build our city like this. Well, in our metropolitan, we built a lot of high density blocks to provide more parks and green ground here. And uh, we also have our Bold X city. It's a mode developed by a very important uh, American uh, champion architect, White, who promote us to, uh, in, in this city, every citizens have one egg farmland land to build their houses and also have their uh, uh, gardens and do some farm work here. It is a manner of life, but it also lead to our issue nowadays is urban sprawl. 
Nowadays, we build our cities from the three mode, the garden city, the redeem city, and the, and the board egg city. Nowadays, we allow to transportation uh, like the car, private car transportation, it causes a lot of energy consumption in the urban area, especially in the suburban area. Now, Reid had calculated that uh, if we all live in the North Americans, we should have two more planets to sustain our, our maintain, to maintain our lives. And people now driving cars to our cities, and now they drive their cars to the cinema, they drive car to motel, motel. they also drive car to have their food. They drive to for shopping, they drive even to the church. So what is the sustainable urban form? Uh, it should be compact, and uh, it should use high density to store some of the issues, and also it should keep it in the appropriate uh, density. So it will, re it will also meet the need on the social, on the social development and the economical development. And the third line is about uh, ecological design. Why we need the ecological design? It one on a very micro, microscope. Even just to design a single building, a single houses. Um, we, in these houses, we are mostly used on the bicycle uh, pants or walking pants, and we also use a lot of uh, energy saving methods, such as like soda and wind power. And we can see from the IBM headquarters, in these buildings, we use a lot of new technology to uh, save energy in these buildings. It can even generate from the solar, solar power. And also, we build TOD uh, and neighborhood. It will be a large scale, different from it, the single building. And it's a zero energy development in London. From this picture, we can see uh, the energy used in this neighborhood all generate from the green energy. And then we built our green roof. It's an uh, interesting uh, city development movement. And uh, it's from new technology, uh, especially the materials can um, afford the soil on the roof land to build, to plant, to, put up, to plant the new trees there. And maybe our future city is like this. Okay, I will have a quick sense as others. This is the green easier. This means that we should build a city on more, uh, have more green parks and have, have build them in the green areas. Uh, this practical have practical influence on our cities now. It's the uh, Netherlands. We can see all the cities built in the like a park, and the people can free car, uh, free car transportation here, they can just walk, have walking distance, and the, they can use, sort of, uh, they can share their life with the sunshine, and 85% of the buildings face to the south. And we have also some other cities. Okay, we can analyze the footprint of the cities. Now we can use some new technologies to calculate our household food, uh, footprint so that we can make our policy development depend on these fingers. And the last is design nature. Why we should design nature? It's developed by Mike Hogg, uh, who is a, a geography, geography in the world. He designed the regional area by using a new technology GIS system, and he, in his planning, he considered natural resource as a major resource in the planning uh, factors. And uh, he built models. Thank you. I, at last, I will say, our planners and architects can learn from the architecture, and uh, we should design with nature. We should consider a lot of sustainable uh, principles in our research. 
Thank you.